Un dienu godātie mediju pārši. Hello, dear journalists, and we are starting the press uh, conference of uh, the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Latvia, Edgar Sankevich, and uh, Marina Kaljurand from Estonia, the Foreign Minister. Now the floor is given to Edgar Sankevich. Uh, dear press representatives, journalists, hello. I am happy to see you after some time. I am also very happy to see there in Riga my new Estonian colleague. We already had the possibility to meet in uh, Brussels on the 20th of July. Today we, of course, discussed a lot of issues as our bilateral cooperation, which obviously is very good in political and economical level. However, I would like once again to say what I have already said in social uh, networks and in special communication from the Ministry of Foreign. We here in Latvia completely uh, are solidar with Estonia concerning this absolutely illegal and unacceptable court ruling of the PSO regional court uh, in the case of Eston Kochver. We consider that it is contradicting to international law and we consider that Russia has to do everything to release him immediately so he could return back to Estonia. We are in solidarity also with our neighbors and friends in Estonia. And you see we have those yellow um, bands uh, here at our chest because tomorrow uh, there is a celebration in Estonia. It's a day of restoration of independence and also the Society of Estonia will wear those uh, yellow bands. Uh, so I invite also Latvians to be solidar with Estonia and to use this possibility as today, as tomorrow, to attach to one's chest the yellow band and to be solidar with our Estonian friends. And I think that we here in the Baltics and uh, in general in the European Union, we have to work very strongly with Russia. We have to make political, economical pressure on Russia for uh, Estonian Hofer to return back home. I am also very glad to, uh, that Marina will participate uh, tomorrow in the inauguration of the NATO Strategic Communication Center of Excellence. Uh, we consider that it is very important step to work with our societies by the countries of NATO to uh, increasing the capacities and fighting propaganda and, and fighting Russia and we are happy to see that Estonia sadarbību tālāk. Un, uh, protams, ka mēs daudz runājām arī par konkrētiem sadarbības I'm hearing. Yes, <laughs> it's back. Yeah. And in any case, we will continue to cooperate in many issues relating to our security, internal security, uh, internal, uh, and I also told uh, my colleague about our experience in demarcation of the borders of Latvia and, uh, and Russia. And if uh, the border agreement of Estonia and Russia will be ratified, then uh, there will be practical uh, cooperation experience in use because our colleagues have moved quite far away uh, who worked with this issue. So we have a lot of practical cooperation possibilities also in the field of culture. On the 3rd of July I was in Tallinn and uh, we um, uh, gave uh, the translation uh, award to a very famous Estonian translator and I really remember still how uh, qualitatively he uh, could uh, cite the poem of Edgar Weidenbaum's as in Estonian language, as in Latvian language. 
And uh, I am happy also that the list of nominees is extended, and so not only translators, but also teachers of Estonian and Latvian could receive this award. And now I will finish my brief introductory speech, and I will invite my colleague to uh, say some words. Thank you. Thank you. And now the floor is yours, Marina Kalvjand. Uh, dear Minister, dear Edgars, thank you. Uh, first of all, it's a real pleasure to be here. Yes, it's my first bilateral visit, and it's always a pleasure to come to Riga, to see Latvia, to see very good colleagues. And to start with, I would like to thank you, to thank you personally, but also to thank all Latvian officials and Latvian people who share our concern about the fate of Estonian police officer Estan Koffer, who together with us condemn the court proceedings and the sentence of the Pskov court and who demand uh, liberation of Eston Koffer and his return back home. Thank you for that. It means a lot to us, not to be alone, but to, to be together with our closest partners, with our closest allies, and I'd like to take the opportunity to thank also all the partners and allies who support us, who condemn the violation of international law and human rights law by Russian Federation, and who demand liberation of Eston Koffer and his free return back home. I'd also like to take the opportunity to congratulate you on the excellent presidency of the EU. There is a lot we can learn from you. We are learning already. Our diplomats have been in uh, Latvian Foreign Ministry, and we are very grateful that you allowed us to see, even from the backstage, how the presidency was done. So we very much hope that we can continue the exchange of best practices, and we'll be better prepared for our presidency in 2018. As Edgar said, we are really we are close partners, we are close friends, and. Uh, we have very close relations in all fields. In trade, uh, uh, Latvia is our third trade partner and third biggest invest, uh, foreign uh, direct investments provider to Estonia. Uh, we have close cooperation in security, in literature, in culture, and I can continue with them, uh, mentioning all the fields. We discussed and we continue our discussion about security situation in our region, which means that we will further discuss uh, ours and EU's position towards Russia, uh, what and how we can support Ukraine, what will happen to Eastern Partnership, especially in preparation for the informal meeting of EU foreign ministers in Gimnich at the beginning of September. Uh, we congratulate you on your decisions, especially concerning the 2% 2, uh, 2 of GDP uh, for defence expenditure. We see it extremely important that besides the support of our partners and NATO allies, we do our part. And we'd like to congratulate you on that very important decision and also to congratulate you on becoming pretty soon member of the OECD. We're waiting for you to, to be members of that club because we need that. We can contribute together much more and we see that our cooperation there could be even closer than it is today. And yes, I'm very happy to be here and represent my country tomorrow at the opening of the Center of Excellence. It's an important decision. It's an important step. Uh, we would like to thank Latvia for participating in the Center of Excellence of Cybersecurity in Tallinn, and we'll be very happy to cooperate with you here in Latvia in the Center of Excellence. Thank you. There, are, there are many more things, but I'll stop here. Okay, well, this means to have a your time. Thank you. Uh, and are there any questions? Two. We see there are two questions. The agency. BNS. The question to both ministers 
our president, where you want to say that Latvia will give international support to Estonia in the case of Estonian Kochver. Do you know what kind of support would be that? Is Estonia asking something from Latvia? Latvia, uh, from the very first day when this person was illegally detained and taken to Moscow, has expressly uh, uh, stated its uh, condemn its public support. We have done that also in uh, January this year, when our presidency started, and I visited Moscow. I was talking with this issue with the Foreign Ministry of Russia. I invited him to try to settle this question, and we will continue together with our Estonian friends actively work to have one uh, integrated and united and stable position of the EU and to have continuous political pressure on Russia. We have done that from the very first day. We are doing it still now and we will continue till the moment when Mr. Kochver will return back to Estonia. And I would like to hope that really Uh, we want to be sure that this moment is not far away. Yes, thank you. I can only confirm that we are very grateful to all our allies and to all our partners who have extended their support and who share our position, who are condemning the Russian behavior of violation of international law and who are demanding uh, liberation of Eston Koffer. Uh, if, you, if you look at the news today, the statements are coming from many partners, many allies. It was High Representative uh, Federica Mogherini who made a statement a couple of hours ago. There are more statements coming all the time. Uh, yes, unfortunately, the statements haven't changed so far Russia's position and haven't freed so far Eston Koffer. But as Edgar has also said, we will not stop here. We will continue with international pressure and we will do it together with our partners and allies until he'll be liberated and he'll be free to return back to Estonia. And once again, we are very grateful to all our partners and allies for their support because it's not only a Estonian Russian thing. I think that we, today not one country can be sure that it can't happen in their territory with their citizens. So it's, it's much wider than an Estonian-Russian dispute. Well, yes, and light. Thank you. Other questions? You also talked about strategic communication. Can I learn what did you discuss? Was it uh, about some counter activities uh, concerning uh, Russia propaganda? Uh, how all countries can react to that? Thank you. Well, yes, we had not much time to go into the details. We'll have more time tonight to discuss that question. But I'd like to say from the very beginning that when we're talking about strategic communication, it's not about Russia. It's much wider. It's the, uh, it concerns NATO communication. It concerns matters that are close to people. So we shouldn't see it only as a communication center that is targeting Russia or trying to, uh, to, to explain what Russia is doing. Once again, it's much wider. It concerns NATO activities. It concerns our common activities. And it's just it's the way of communicating to people the policies and the views that we are doing. Uh. Yes, just like my colleague said, uh, we will have more detailed discussions about after this press conference uh, concerning a lot of issues which I uh, didn't mention, like OECD, uh, like NAS uh, our presidency in the Nordic country uh, uh, way, and there the strategic communication is set as one of the priorities where we want wide cooperation 
as with our both neighboring countries, Lithuania and Estonia, as in the wider context with others, uh, other countries which are included in the Nordic countries cluster. We have done a lot there. We are talking about NATO Strategic Communication Center and yes, that is uh, information war uh, against Russia Federation. Nevertheless, we are talking about strategic communication with uh, international organizations, with other countries, not only with uh, Islamic country as a radical country. We have to look wider. And therefore, I completely agree with my colleague, and we have discussed a lot, that we do not look at strategic communication only concerning Russia, but much, much wider. Uh, today, uh, we are having uh, the Journalist Ex Center of Excellence is in our Ministry of Culture, and the aim of this center also is to support and uh, to support our uh, journalists, let's say, in the Baltics, in the wider context, uh, giving them support, which is not a state support, but uh, it's support for them to be able to distinguish some elements of information war. Uh, this is one practical aspect. Then, if we talk about uh, the European Union, then you know that there is a working group established, uh, the plan has been elaborated uh, already. I cannot uh, uh, prove informal information that it was stated that first of all they will fight uh, uh, the propaganda of Russia in Eastern countries. No, that's not true. These are just rumors. The work is done in the Eastern Partnership and also within the framework of the European Union, and we fully support all those elements which have been prepared already by the High Commissioner of Foreign Affairs of the European Union. So we have to strengthen uh, here in Latvia uh, the capacity of our own mass media as in Latvian language as in a Russian language. That has to be done in the context of Baltic states, uh, in the context of Nordic countries. And uh, Nordic countries, our partners there, have been quite generous and they have devoted some resources for that. And uh, we are cooperating we have, for example, a cooperation agreement concerning this with Germany concluded. But nevertheless, we see that this cooperation uh, and fight against lies, uh, it's better to uh, implement this fight in a collective way, cooperating between Baltic states. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Yes, please. Minister Rinkevich, you mentioned the possibility of setting up a journalistic school of excellence. I wonder if you could give us a few more details. When do you expect it to open? And would this be an exclusively Latvian project or pan-Baltic, pan-EU? Not, not a school. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm in politics for quite a long time to say that to, to, to have a school and to lecture journalists is the worst thing you can do. But actually, it's a center of excellence. Uh, on media that where, where we are cooperating with our Lithuanian and Estonian partners and uh, there is a kind of, uh, um, let's say, meeting of stakeholders right now in the Ministry of Culture. Uh, I think we will provide very soon the details. I don't want to jump ahead before the meeting is over because uh, the stakeholders should uh, how to say, agree upon the mission statement upon uh, financing. But what I can say is this is one of the elements how to raise public awareness, how to work uh, with the community of journalists, not only in Latvia, but in a wider context in the Baltic region and probably even in, even probably in a wider uh, way just to 
uh, establish a partnership with journalists and to, to work to understand where we have this very thin line between freedom of the speech and open propaganda. How we can, uh, let's say, be more critical on information that very often is being thrown into the public domain and in the internet age. It's being shared by many news media and then one or two days later we should retract. I still remember one case where I think it originated somewhere in the Russian media information that one of former secretaries of defense of the United States have said that uh, admitting Baltics in the NATO was a mistake. When we read the actually his memoirs, it was just the opposite. But the news were, was out everywhere. And actually, the kind of, uh, let's say, corrected version was not anymore there. So uh, we are speaking about the center of excellence of journalism, where we see journalists as partners, where we don't see the government being, you know, lecturing someone, but where we see this kind of financing and independent mechanism where we can address those issues, but it's not exclusively Latvian project. We see it as first Baltic projects and then probably the wider one. But you will get more news as stakeholders hopefully agrees. So I don't want to make premature, the premature announcements. On the yes? Yeah. No. I've got a question um, for the Estonian foreign minister. I want to come back to the, to the Koffer case. Um, I was reading that the, the, his lawyer was saying that the verdict can be appealed within 10 days and there will be consultation with the Estonian government. Uh, I wonder if there's already a decision made and or what are the tendencies? Are you going to appeal the verdict or not? And a um, follow-up question on that as well would be, uh, there had been also discussion already about that uh, Cover might be traded against some uh, Russian prisoner in, in Western European prison, so like um, that, that there could be an exchange in a, in a trade. Uh, what are you thinking about that? What is the, your stance on that? Would it be an option? Thank you. Uh, as to the appeal, the appeal could be made only by Eston Koffer himself, because the Estonian government is not party to the court case. The only party is Eston Koffer. So it's up to him whether he will appeal or not. Uh, from the government side, I can say whatever decision he makes will support him. And we have previously offered him uh, lawyers and will we'll be ready to offer it again if he needs it. Uh, until today, it has been his decision to continue with the lawyer who was appointed by, 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 by Russian authorities. As to the second question, I'm not going to speculate on uh, what will happen next, because first we have to wait and see whether Eston Koffer will appeal or not. Then we have to wait when the court decision will come into force. But I can assure you that MFA, Ministry of Interior, and all the other institutions in Estonia are at the moment looking in all possibilities all possibilities that are available to bring Eston Koffer home as quickly as possible. Thank you. Paldies. Thank you. There are no more questions. Thank you.